Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video I will show you what SEMrush is, what SEMrush does, and how you could potentially use SEMrush in your business. If you do want to grab access to a free trial of SEMrush, then you can do so using the top link down in the description. That should take you over to a page like this, where you can sign up and get started with your free SEMrush trial. Now, the main use case of SEMrush is overall for digital marketing, but the main people that use SEMrush are going to be bloggers who want to rank their blog higher and also do competitor analysis on other blogs. And the other people who use SEMrush are people who are running search ads, as once again, it's going to help target the audience, find different keywords, get an insight into what keywords will cost you. And those are the two main use cases for SEMrush. Now, the main magic and the main tool that people will be using inside of SEMrush is going to be this keyword magic tool right here. So in here, let's say that I either want to create some blog posts around email marketing or I want to run ads on email marketing. We do this in the same way. I would just go to the keyword right here and type in email marketing and click enter. And right here, it's going to show me all of these different keywords and the deep dive into the data. So in here, we can see things like the intent that people are searching with. So whether they are looking for information, whether they are looking to buy something, whether they are comparing against another company, we can then see the volume. So how many monthly searches this is getting the keyword difficulty. So how hard it would be to rank on Google for this keyword. So this is more relating to blogs and blog articles. If you are trying to rank a blog, the lower down this is, so like 11 is a very easy keyword to rank for. Whereas something close to 100 like this 99 is going to be very hard. So this is what bloggers want to be looking at. And then if you are running ads, we can take a look at the CPC right here and see how much advertisers are spending on this keyword. Now, if this sounds interesting to you and you want to take a deeper dive into this keyword magic tool and fully understand all of the features and exactly how to use this, then I will leave a link in the description to my entire video running you through how to use this keyword magic tool. But to give you a very quick demonstration, let's say we were a new blog and we wanted to find keywords for email marketing that we can actually rank for because a lot of these are going to be very hard. That's one of the biggest problems that bloggers run into is they make blog articles, but they just never rank on Google. So what we can do, and as I said, I'm not going to go into crazy detail with this because I already have a full video on how to use this keyword magic tool, but we can basically look for keywords that have a low keyword difficulty and we can find keywords that we can create blogs around that are going to be easy to rank for. So like bulk email marketing software, we could create a blog article about this best time of day to send marketing emails. We could create a blog article around this because these are much easier to rank for. From here, we can also take a deeper dive into individual keywords. So if I just go back and find a bigger keyword that isn't so easy to rank for, let's say email marketing platforms right here, we can click into this keyword and this is going to give us some in-depth analysis on this keyword. So we can see the global volume and where this traffic is coming from based on the country. We can see the trend and if people are searching for this more or less, we can see keyword variations. We can see questions that people are asking around this keyword. So what is the best email marketing platform, how to choose an email marketing platform. And then we can even go down and we can see the top websites that are ranking for this keyword. So we have websites like SEMrush itself, Forbes, Zapier, MailChimp. And what we can do is we can click on the website and open this up right here and we will be taken over to the website. Or alternatively, we can even go back and open up the individual blog article that is actually ranking for this keyword. So you can do some competitor analysis right here and take some inspiration from this article. So that is how we can find keywords that we might want to rank for or even run ads for. And the next thing that we can do is we can actually take a look into our competitors and see what kind of blog articles they are ranking for. So as an example, let's say I run a traffic blog and maybe because I'm in the travel niche, then nomadic Matt is going to be a competitor. Well, what I can do is I can go to this website and I can copy the URL of my competitor and I can go to organic research right here. Then in organic research, I can just paste this in and click on search. And now I can see an overview into all of the statistics on this website. So I can see he's currently ranking for 172,000 keywords. The traffic is at 130,000. And then down here, I can see the top keywords that this website is ranking for. So I can go down and click in to view all of the keywords right here. And then once again, we can see the keyword difficulty, the volume for each of these keywords. 
And once again, if I'm a small blog, I might want to come down here and go to the keyword difficulty and search for easy. And these are all of the easy keywords that he is ranking for. So traveling on a budget, how do you eat, house sitting jobs, traveling to rural Philippines. Maybe I can get some inspiration right here and use these for my own blog. Another cool tool that we have is this keyword gap right here. And we would essentially compare our website against another website. So let's say that I'll put Nomadic Mat in here as a competitor. And I will say just as an example that I have this website right here. This is mine, Uncornered Market. So you put your domain in here and then a competitor's domain and then we can compare this. And then we can see the keyword overlap right here. So I can see there's only a small amount of keywords that we are both ranking for. And Nomadic Mat is ranking for a lot of keywords that I'm not even touching. So this could kind of wake me up and realize, hey, there's a lot of keywords right here that I'm leaving on the table and I can rank for a lot more of these keywords. So over here, I can see top opportunities. And this is going to show me from all of the keywords that I'm not using, which are potentially the best. So this is just going to be sorted by volume, but let's go into view details. And then we can go in here and read these statistics. So let's sort this by keyword difficulty and go lowest. And then these are some easy keywords that he is ranking for and I am not. So 101 hostel, two days in Valencia, Spain, 24 hours in Prague, our hostel safe for solo female travelers, Barcelona spring break. So I can really get some ideas in here and start ranking for more keywords that I'm not already ranking for. Now, if blogging isn't really your thing and you are more into advertising and that is what you want to use SEMrush for, then we can open up this advertising category right here and we have things like advertising research. So we can come in and we can take a look at competitors' ad strategies and see their strengths and weaknesses. So let's say that I am Monster Energy and I want to look at Red Bull. So I can go for redbull.com and we can see what type of ads they are running. So we can click on search right here and we can see the keywords that they are running traffic to, the total traffic that they are getting from these keywords and the traffic cost. So we can see that over time, this is going up. Let's see if the trap, if the cost is the same. So this is pretty much going up linearly as they spend more, they are getting more traffic. This is cool. And then we can go down and we can see the keywords that they are ranking for the cost per click. So how much they are spending on each of these ads. And we can see where they are running these ads to. So let's take a look right here. They are running energy drinks and they are running an ad to this and they are position one. So what this tells me is if I just go here and I type in Red Bull, and I search this, it should be a sponsored ad right here from Red Bull. So that's going to show up right there. So aside from that information, we can also see the traffic that they are pushing, the what percentage of the traffic comes from each of these keywords. So 16% comes from energy drink. We can see the cost, cost percentage, the result, the trend. So looks like they are running quite a lot of ads for energy drinks right here. And if we want to go over and actually see the ad copy, so what they are actually running, we can go to ad copies right here and we can see all of the different ad copies that they are running for these search ads. So most of these are the same, Vitalizers, Body and Mind. I think all of these are the same. This one is slightly different. Our drinks are appreciated. So once again, you can search for your competitors. You can see what they are ranking for and you can see the actual ad copy that they are running within this ad. Aside from that, within SEMrush, we also have this social media section where you can get access to a social media poster. So we can schedule social media content using SEMrush. We can track and analyze any brand's social media. We can centralize community management around this. And that is the social media section right there. Then we have content marketing. So it's going to help you with an AI. We can get started with topic research and decide what our content marketing is going to be around. But I don't really use these. The main two ways that I use SEMrush is for searching blog SEO in the SEO section and also running paid search ads using the advertising section. So that is SEMrush Explained. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.